With the inclusion of Aaron Sanderlands, the Dockers were hoping to continue their charge to September action at home against the desperate Tigers with their season on the line. The game remaining goalless until the local skipper was caught high in the forward 50 and he'd make no mistake. Comes eight and a half minutes in and the Coleman medalist drills it. Freo lead by five. Richmond would respond through Jake King and with goals hard to come by, the Tigers would edge ahead. But Frio would hit back, drawing to within two through De Boer. Continued pressure, squeezing the Richmond defence. Interception, Hill, there's his bridge. All the tricks on display. He's done enough to put it through and give Fremantle the lead. Up by seven at quarter time, the Dockers would continue their inside 50 domination in the second term. He works himself out, got all the logistics right. Another goal to Fremantle by Mazungu. Richmond appeared to have little answer as the Dockers began to click. Bellatone will help himself to another and Fremantle are up and rolling. Ben Griffiths would come crashing off the top of the pack and knock himself out. He'd be assisted from Patterson's before his teammates would snatch one back against the flow through King. Looks good off the boot, is good through the middle. Tigers first to the quarter, a long time coming. Frio had gone off the boil during the break in play, but they'd re-establish a 22-point lead with goals to Walker and Ballantyne before Revolt collected his second. It's tight, but it's there. It's a goal. Trailing by 16 points at half time, the Tigers would let Maine off the hook early in the third. He plays on and left them looking foolish. But the Tigers would continue to counterpunch. And it's all there. Matthew Pavlich may have been less than 100%, but he'd have enough to chip in when it mattered. And before you could say Matthew Pavlich is a star, they've kicked another one. Well, even on one leg, he's going to be valuable for Fremantle. But the Tigers would again claw their way back with goals to King and Delidio. Big moment in the game, and Delidio knew it. Oh, what a kick off the left. De Boer would extend the Dockers' lead to 20 at three-quarter time. The flying mullet showing the Tigers' desperation in the final term. It'd blow hard running down Pav, but Ballantyne would provide some breathing space. 30 out, probability on his side, delivers the goal coolly and calmly. And while the Tigers would continue to gamely counter through White, the Docker skipper would maintain their advantage. He's done enough, it's there. Richmond now out on their feet. The Dockers with their foot on the throat. Crowd on their feet and Kepler says thank you very much. Thanks for coming, Richmond. Game over. Fremantle launching themselves into the eight with a 22-point win, ending Richmond's faint finals aspirations for another year. David Murdoch, Big Pond Sports.